is back to our set capital X that equal to one, one, seven, nine, four, uh, and I don't know, 11, 25, okay? Awesome. So this is the set that we have. Now, the moving average, let's say with window of three is another set that average three elements of the capital X set and building from them a new set. For example, the moving average of capital X will be the average of these three elements as the first element over here. The second element, uh, the average of the following three elements and so on and so forth. Now, let's figure out what is the formula. So moving average with window W is equal to a set such that each element of the set is an average of W elements from I1 to W for some element XI, okay, where X is taken from X capital and I will introduce another index J such that J is ranging from one to the number of elements in X capital. So basically the small X is taken from this set, the I ranging from one to W each time and the J ranging from one to the number of elements in capital X. So if this is the first element in X, this is the second, the fourth and so on. So we will pick a J, let's say we'll pick J number three. So this will be three. And now we will average the element I will be ranged from one, two, and three. So in, in the uh, total, we will average the elements at position one plus three, two plus three, and four, and three plus three. This giving us four, five, and six, meaning that when J is equal to three, we will average the elements four, five, and six. Awesome. Let's code it up. Okay, so we are back to our notebook. I already imported the plotting library and the NiPy library. Awesome. So let's generate uh, again a random set uh, of 100 variables ranging from one to uh, 25. So low is one, high will be 25, uh, size is 100. Let's print this element, awesome. Let's also add a plot. So plt figure fig size 15 by 7 PLT scatter list range x dot shape zero shape zero and y is the set itself. Uh, also we'll add a line plot and PLT show. Cool. So now let's do the moving average. So remember that the moving average is a set. So I will 
uh, define, first of all, I will define a window, let's say uh, five. Okay. Now I will define the set itself. So moving AVG equal to a list. Cool. Now I will iterate uh, for the indices of the uh, X set, capital X set. So I in range x dot shape zero minus the window. Why minus the window? Because once I will uh, stand and or hold this uh, element, I won't be able to uh, count more elements from this set. Therefore, I can encounter an error. That's why the moving average will stop W elements before the last one from the capital X set. Okay, now I will define the average equal to zero. Now I will iterate over so this will be j according to uh, according to our uh, formula this will be i for i in range w okay avg summing up the elements from x x in i plus j okay avg equal avg divided by the window cool and we will append the average to the set of the moving average cool and let's check the result awesome so we have let's check the length it should be 95 elements awesome 95 elements let's make a plot actually let's copy this one okay and also add the average plot so label label x set okay now let's add the moving average so len of m avg y is m avg here i will plot the m avg and the label will be moving uh, moving average awesome let's add a legend and plot this out cool so the orange one is the moving average and the blue one is the x set now this point this point of the moving average corresponds to the w average points of the x set if in our case w is equal to 5 so this is the first second third fourth and fifth elements so these five elements translated to the average in this point and so on and so forth cool if you like the video up till now please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel now let's move on and i will show you a little trick how to calculate the average when you have a sequence of data keep coming and you don't need to calculate the average for all the elements each time.